Hello you guys, it's been a hot minute since I have been here on YouTube but the baby is taking consistent naps now so I have time to upload a little bit more and I want to share with you one of my organizational projects that I am doing in this new house which is a linen closet. I hope that you really enjoy it. So this is my bathroom in Arizona. If you have been following me for a while, you can tell that it is very similar like the bathroom that we had over there in Michigan. But the only thing that is not similar is that I am missing my linen closet. I made a video a while ago about my linen closet and it was right on this nook. Here it is where the water closet is or the toilet and then I had my linen closet over here a door and then that is my closet so I have this little nook over here and I don't know what happened to that towel rod um, but we just hang towels there and I thought that I could just like add something a shelf or something to make my own linen closet this is how it looks from here so this is the shelf that I decided to go for. It is a Walmart shelf and I love the brass and glass look. And what I thought it was super super good is that it fits perfectly this little space or nook that I have over here for my linen closet. This is how it looks from the other side. I just love it. So I have the baby taking his nap. I have a big cup of motivation over here. So let's get started. So these are the things that I'm going to utilize to organize my shelves and make a little linen closet. I grabbed them a couple years ago from Marshalls slash Home Goods. This is a plastic type of weaved pattern with dual tones of pink and mauve. I also love these beautiful fabric bins in a floral pattern and the mauve color. And they are just filled with the random things right now that I need to organize and also declutter. So I'm going to show you here is my phone and this is a picture that I took of my old linen closet that is what I'm going for the first step in anything is just cleaning and decluttering I am making sure that my face masks are not expired and just knowing exactly what I'm going to keep throw away or keep away so I went to Target to get a few things that I'm going to use in this bathroom and in my bins for my linen closet like shampoo, conditioner, soap. This brand smells so lovely and also cast out soap because you guys know that I like to make my own cleaning solutions. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now, just spraying and cleaning the glass part of these shelves so that they're ready for when I start arranging and filling everything up on the bins and baskets. this is the first setup that I had and I have these bins that are plastic I want to fill them up with like my face towels regular towels maybe some uh, feminine products shampoo conditioners soaps what else cleaning solutions maybe some cotton balls and rounds toilet paper you know everything that you would normally find in a linen closet the only down thing is that it is a small shelf so I don't have the capability or capacity of utilizing everything that I did on my past linen closet but I found these beautiful wooden baskets at Target a couple months ago that I was using for Cooper's play area but his toys uh, some of them here already grew so I thought that it would look beautiful the wood and the brass together This is one of the fabric bins or containers that I love utilizing for my toilet paper because it has this lid so it keeps it clean and dust free. And I like that it can fit a lot of these chunky toilet paper rolls and I can just keep restocking it. about to see a little behind the scenes of me filming for my Instagram I was doing a little reel because I figured you know what I'm already filming for my YouTube channel so I might as well do a little shorter video of it I would love for you to follow me on Instagram I share a lot over there so yeah 
Now that everything is pretty much set, now I have to figure out where I want to incorporate some of the products or items that I'm going to utilize for this linen closet. And right now I'm just adding all of my hair products that I'm going to use in the shower over here. And then the next bin is going to have soaps and bar soaps. Might even add some shower gels or things like that. So this bin is perfect to add all the cleaning solutions that I use in this bathroom and in my bedroom. I use these for like the shower and the sinks and the windows. It is very convenient to have everything near me when I am going to clean. And then this bigger container has our Epsom salt, our first aid kit and some medicine. After my towels are washed and dried, now it's turn to fold them and I'm just doing this very, very simply. That's how I fold my towels. Also, I have a question for you. Do you own white towels? I own pretty much exclusively white towels. There's something about a fresh, crisp, clean looking white towel. Um, but over here, I am showing you guys how to make a spa fold because then I thought, you know what, I don't want to be boring and my shelves are pretty small so I don't think I can fit all of my towels. So yeah, this is how I am doing it. I just fold it and then I roll it and it looks super, super nice. And this is the final setup. I am loving how everything is turning out and I literally switched it up so many times. So I'm just adding some feminine products into this basket. I also found this beautiful tiny basket and I'm adding some organic cotton balls. And then I am in love with these metal hand soap dispensers. They not only look beautiful, but they also smell exquisite. I want to show you what I added in each container like this cream, my shampoo and conditioner. I also grabbed this flamingo shaving cream. Leaving conditioner, dry conditioner and another brand of shampoo and conditioner. And then I added my hand towels inside of this basket and I found a few natural bath bombs in my local grocery store that smell so so good made with essential oils and I added them in this container with my hand soap dispensers. The next shelf has the rolls of toilet paper and then the spa folded fluffy towels this plastic container has some wipes and some feminine products and then over here i have a few of my face towels these ceramic containers have q-tips and the other one has some washable um, rounds that I use to take off my makeup sometimes and then over here I have a sugar scrub in watermelon scent it's delicious and then some Epsom salt and everything is inside of the bin that has all of the medicine the next shelf has my cleaning products and then these are some of the sheets that I use for my bed and that's pretty much it as always, thank you so much for taking the time and watching my videos. I appreciate all of your support and I would love if you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. I will see you on my next video.
拜。